Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther and I want to show you how to achieve this beautiful effect in Illustrator. But before we do that, if you are uh, new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. Okay, I'm gonna delete this one, press the T or you can go and select the type tool right here click type whatever you want and i'm gonna select that fancy type it's called sin c y n e there you go this this is a free font you can get it for free uh just google it and you're gonna find it from here we're gonna go to object what is that expand click ok uh as you can see we got like more stuff going on uh, we can dissect this logo in pieces, but we want to unite these first. So go to the Pathfinder and select Unite. If you don't have the Pathfinder, go to Windows and select the Pathfinder because this uh, option usually it's not turned on when uh, you are using Illustrator. I'm gonna scale this down, press and hold Alt. As you can see, if you press and hold Alt, the arrow gonna transform into double arrow. And I'm gonna drag it. Press and hold shift, scroll, I mean rotate it twice, something like that. And position this, you know, until they snap, they intersect or hey, basically they need to step snap, you know, so they're like perfectly aligned in there. I'm gonna right click, group. I'm gonna press and hold alt again and go to the, you know, vector file and create a new copy, press and hold shift and rotate it and I, I basically I'm gonna position this somewhere around here you also can test it if it's a perfect square or if it's not a perfect square you just long uh, you don't even need to long, long press on this because it's gonna appear you know the rectangle so we're gonna make a square press and hold shift just go here where the anchor point is uh, where is the corner and just create a square I think it's perfect. It is. Um, I did eyeball it a little, but uh, who cares? Anyways, I'm just gonna delete this. Okay, so right click group. I can also position it to the center. So basically, you might think this is done with the uh, what is it? The blend tool. Blend tool uh, doesn't. It basically can you can't achieve great stuff so uh, I'm gonna show you how I did it we're gonna go to the effect distort and transform transform the old-school technique I gotta create like eight copies and uh, I don't know like decrease to 85 86 and yeah, that would be good and I'm gonna create some more copies maybe yeah now now it's more dramatic i think 20 copies click ok actually i'm gonna leave the original one right here and i'm gonna create a new copy and i'm going to expand this one go to the object expand appearance right click on group and you just need to select all of these copies right click group and click on this thing swap fill and stroke and now it's gonna swap it as you can see we got a lot of noise going on in here uh, the lines are a little a little bit more thicker I'm gonna decrease uh, the stroke uh, you can decrease it here where the stroke is or you can go where the yeah there you go the stroke this is another option if you have that if you don't have this option you can go to windows and select the stroke and of course you need to press this little thing so you can, this menu can drop down but anyways i gonna decrease the size and i gonna go to align stroke to outside so the text here in these small areas basically if, if i click this it is going to be more uh, clear yeah it's, it's a little bit more clear now it's less noisy but i also can like experiment a little bit more to increase it to 0, 05 to see how it's going to impact uh, it's pretty good so yeah this is how you make a really nice this, this basically can be added on t-shirt could look really nice on a t-shirt or some merch so yeah 
basically this is how you do it thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe uh check out the other videos as well and have a good one bye bye